Don't die in spring. Don't let go of me until sometime in that darkened end of November. There's far too much light out here for me in March, even if it is still snowing. Let them take you away when the sun is pallid and the days grow ever shorter. Don't even try to push me aside when the wet snows nurture our new grass. I'll gladly go when the ground is all brown and frozen and everything else is dead. Who could take off when the crocuses are just starting to peek out? I'll be ready to leave just as the lakes are freezing gray in that flat December light. I want you to be there listening when the red-winged blackbirds return to fill the brush. Don't die in the spring when your sap is just rising after a long winter stillness. Wait until autumn shuts everything down into a depressed and mournful dimness. Stay with me as the streams throw off their ice and the aspen buds grow fat. Slip away quietly beneath heavy covers during some long, cold winter's night. You can't leave just when the grebes, geese, ducks, and mergansers are returning. Say goodbye when your garden is skeletal and the icy fog settles in before the snows. Why survive the long winter just to wither when at last the good light returns? Don't let go until the cold and dark infinitely lengthen both of our fleeting shadows. You simply can't turn away from the fully refessed beauty of early May. We'll lay you down during one of those savage early winter blizzards. We won't let you go when the bass are bedding out on the pond. Wait for that dark and somber time before you decide upon your last move. Don't leave me to futilely struggle against the rising tide of spring and sadness over you. Let me walk dark streets alone during the time when grief and depression come naturally. Don't die in the spring when the garden is calling out for your touch. I would rather think of you still hard at work, helping to push up our new bulbs.